Hello, um, I'm just going to take you through the basics of how to use the editor of Wix um, to make changes to your website. Um, so log into Wix by going to Wix.com and entering your um, email address and your password. And then choose the site, you can have several different sites under your Wix account. Um, choose the site that you would like to edit, you can just click edit and it will bring up the Wix HTML editor. Loading, loading, loading. Okay, so it always brings us up on our home page. Um, so I'm just going to show you um, everything you could possibly need to know. All right, so to it, Wix is a very visual, just click, point, drag, easy, easy system to use. Anything that you click on, it'll tell you exactly what it is. So this one tells me it's a slideshow gallery. So it's not just an image; it's actually a slideshow gallery. Um, I might want to click on this one and it's a box and I can change stuff. If I click on this one, it's text and I can edit the text. Um, and just to, to do any editing, basically you just double click and it will come up and give you all the different things that you can change. Okay, to do the text, just double click, select the text you want to change and you can go in and change absolutely everything. Okay. Um, so everything is very straightforward. Um, this is just a simple image up here. See, so it tells me it's an image. Um, and you can do different things to any image. If I click on this one, it tells me it's a menu. So it's not simply text, it's actually a menu. And if I click on this one, it's just text as well. Click on this one, it's just an image here as well. Um, and, oh, excuse me, I've got to sneeze. Bless me. Um, and what I quite like to do with people's logo is instead of just uploading an image of their logo, if there is a font within the system that matches their logo, it's much better to be able to use a font. Um, and then that's actually helps with your SEO, basically. Okay, you'll also see dotted lines around the website. And these indicate um, our header section, which is at the top our footer section and our side sections which you don't really want to put terribly much in um, because in smaller um, laptops and things you won't necessarily be able to see them but you can sometimes put stuff in your you can run a little side tab or something like that okay but generally try and stick to the middle okay if you want to put something into your header or your footer you can't always just click and drag it in. See, it's actually just dropping that whole line and not letting me drop it in there. Um, but what you can do is click on the item and tick this little box that says show on all pages and it will make it orange. And orange means that I can drag it into my header or my footer. Okay. Oops. Okay. Um, now one thing that you can also do is attach things to other things. So if I move this down here, you hard to see down there, but if I want to attach this text to that box, I move it on top of it and it says it's attached. Okay. Um, so now if I was to choose the box, it will move both. Okay. Um, and it It'll always move it, um, sorry, there's, there's levels and things as well, um, sorry, not levels like you would have in Photoshop, but there is, you know, what's on top and what's underneath. And to move, you know, what's on top and what's underneath, it's just these little blue and grey boxes down here, send forwards and send backwards. So if I send it backwards, because it's actually attached to that box, it's not going to go behind it, but yeah, anyway, you, you'll get the general gist. Um, okay, so one thing to remember is that if you want to just go in and have a play, you can go in and just play with anything, muck it around. Um, oh, you're building outside the grid lines. We suggest you stay inside. So, you know, it, it's really easy to use because it'll tell you if you're doing something wrong, really. Um, so say if I kind of had a little of a bit of a play and I went past the point of no return and didn't know how to get it back, if I haven't clicked save, I can simply close the editor 
and just say, yeah, I'm going to leave this page. And it won't have saved anything, okay? Um, but also on the flip side of that, do remember that any time you go in and make some changes, um, if you're happy with the change that you've made um, and you've done sort of five or ten minutes work or something, go up and click save. It won't actually be live on the website until you click publish. Um, but if you made a change and you're happy with it, just go up and click save because occasionally, you know, you might do a couple of hours worth of work and you've forgotten to save. And if for some reason it crashes or you your internet goes down or something, you will lose everything. So make a change, you know, every five minutes, click save. And then once you're happy with everything, then you need to click publish to actually publish all that content to your live website. Okay? Alrighty, the next thing we're going to look at is the different pages within our website. So my menu up here says that I've got a home page, an about us page, shop girls wear, latest news and contact. Now, if I was on a normal live website, I'd be able to click on that and go to those different pages. But because this is a menu, um, it's, it's a sort of an item, it's not really clickable. So instead of clicking on the menu, like you will do, trust me, um, you've either got two ways to get to the pages. This is the quick menu selection for your pages, and this is the elongated version. Um, the quick one doesn't have any extra options, but the pages one from our left-hand side toolbar allows us to do a few extra things. So the first thing it allows us to do is move the pages. So to be able to um, reshuffle the pages around, the order of the pages, we need to hover over these little dots here. And you'll see the little um, four-pointed arrow comes up. We click, holding down the button, and drag. And just move it to wherever we like. And you can see now that in my menu, it's adjusted about us to become the second last one. Okay? Um, and just move that back. You could also make any of these pages a sub-page. And a sub-page... Um, you can move to the right like this, and that means it's a subpage. That will be, you can see it's underneath About Us. So when I'm on the live site, a drop down box will come up underneath About Us and it will say Shop Girls Wear. So that's the only difference between an actual page and a subpage. Okay, and just to make it a regular page again, just drag it back. Really easy. Um, so there's also little cogwheels to get to our page settings. Um, so this is if we want to change the name of the page, the page address, always make sure it's in lowercase um, with dashes or spaces, and um, always make sure it's exactly the same thing as the page name. Uh, if it's not, and if you're just trying to shove keywords in there, um, you'll get in trouble from Google. Um, but always try and name your pages um, keyword appropriate things. Um, about us, we can't really shove any keywords in there. Um, but you can see that I've labelled our shop girls wear. Um, I've put, you know, some keywords in there that I think you know, is good for SEO. Alrighty, some other things that you can do in this section is you can duplicate a page. Um, so, so if I wanted to create another page called shop boys wear. And I didn't want to have to sort of go and set up a new page, create everything again, try and get it to look exactly the same. I can just go and duplicate this page and say shop is where. Okay. And it brings it up. It'll always put it at the end. You can then just move it up to my next to shop boys where. And it brings it up in here. Um, and you can see here that because I've added another page, my menu now isn't quite long enough. It's got this little more section. So you will need to make sure that you can always fit everything in your menu. Um, if you can't move your menu, change the font size, you know, anything. Just make sure that you can fit it all in. Or if, if you can't, you know, make some of the pages sub-pages so that they come underneath. Okay, so you, your menu shouldn't ever be, you know, 100 pages long. You just try and stick to a maximum of about six or seven um, and then use sub pages and that kind of thing. Okay. Um, 
I can also add a new page. So if I don't have any that I want to make a duplicate of, oh, sorry, actually, let's just go back to our settings just so I can show you the last few things in here. Um, if I want to have a page but I don't want people to necessarily be able to get to it from this menu, I might want people to only be able to get through it through a special button or a special link somewhere within the website. I can say, all right, I want this page, but I don't want it in the menu. It's not a menu item. I can just tick hide from menu. Um, this is really handy if you want to work on some pages and um, not have them. You can have them live on the website, but no one will be able to get to them unless there's a link to them. So you can work on them and uh, put a little secret link so you can go and test the live page, um, which is quite handy if you want to do stuff and maybe make it live at a certain point. Um, you can set it as the home page. Nobody really will ever need to do this because your home page should always, you know, be the one that you've set up. And just if you want to change your home page, just change your home page. Um, the protect page um, is if you want to sort of password protect it or make a members only area that they have to pay to get into. Okay. Um, and then we also have our SEO page settings for each and every page. These are really important um, and we'll talk about SEO in a different section. Okay. Um, you can also change the style of your page but um, really I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, if you've had a designer set this up for you, um, you know, they will have sort of already sort of gone and got you the best um, page style. So Try not to change this unless you're really confident in that area. Um, okay, the next thing we can do in this pages menu is add a page. So quite often you'll think, right, I need a new page and um, it's going to be about something or other. So what you do is just go and add a page and have a look at all the different templates. So you see there's, you know, little images, menu, uh, sorry, not menu, heading and text. Um, you know, just layers of text. Um, you know, these are galleries and text, price list, um, and you just try and find one that's appropriate um, for what you're doing, even if it's not really a map that you want to do, it's something similar to that. You can just add this and then, you know, go in and make changes to it. Um, there's lots of different gallery styles, um, client portfolio pages, FAQ, CV, news if you want to do a blog or something like that, menu if you're a restaurant, video and music pages um, and online shop pages. Okay um, and you can also choose to make it a sub page or a main page. If you don't, if you aren't sure yet don't worry about it because you can always change it by just got moving left to right over here. Okay um, so I've added a new page, it put it down the bottom for me and um, yeah it's just another page. Um, if I want to get rid of any of my pages, I just click on the page settings again and just go delete. Okay. Um, if you wanted to make it not visible to anyone but you didn't want to delete it, you would just, again, go to the little cog and just hide it from the menu. Um, so say if you wanted to keep it and because you wanted to maybe use parts of it again one day, you don't have to necessarily delete it. And it will just show you a little eye, a little line through it to say this one's hidden already. Um, and the SEO actually, um, when you click on this, this is exactly the same as what's in the cog. So it goes to the same place. If I want to click on the cog here, and then SEO and settings is exactly the same place that it's going to. The other thing you can change in here is the page transitions. So when you look at a live site, let's go and look at this site. Um, the page transition is just what sort of transition it has when I click on another page. So you can see it just fades in and out. Okay, if I was to change it to swipe vertical or horizontal, instead of fading in and out, it would um, slide across ways or up. Um, there's only a few things to choose from, but you don't really want to make it too and angle. It's a web page. Um, and sometimes too many bells and whistles can just be tacky. Okay, so that's all about our different pages. Um, 
I'm going to stop here and just create a new section on another video just so that we've got different ones to go through. Okay?